Welcome to John Union this week and we're going to take a, a peek at a camera that I've been trying to get for a stupid long time. This is the Olympus Pen F and this is a 35mm half frame camera. I've been trying to get it for a couple years and I'll tell the story about it. Um, I traded with a, custom, a van, an OM1 in Florida, I got the body that way and then it was a broken OM1 for a broken Pen F and then I bought a broken lens, two broken lenses, one from KEH in Georgia, one from Japan. One was lost, the first one was lost, that's the reason I bought the second one, and then the second one I had to repair myself, and that's hairy, and it's because the, the um, blades were too, the blades had run out of oil and it was sticking, so all that said, um, it's worth it, because I really, really like this camera. But the first thing we're going to do is talk about the camera body itself. Let's talk about the body of the Olympus Pen F. This is the 38mm f1.8 Suico lens, um, lens release is right here. You can probably see in this on HD, still a little bit of dust or a little bit of sand from Puerto Rico. It's really fine sand beaches. Um, I'm just gonna have to brush that out. Lens goes back on pretty easy. Line up the red dots, this dot, and that dot. Spin to the left. On the lens itself, you're gonna see aperture rings right there. 1 8 to 22, not bad. Um, focusing distances right there. Shutter speeds right here. On the top, serial number. Then you're gonna see this is the um, shutter. This is this is the shutter release. Sorry, the frame counter. No hot shoe, which I prefer. Rewind release. Rewind lever and the rewind release. You're gonna pull up on this, but I have five foam in there, so I'm not going to do that. Here's the double stroke mechanism. So you go once and then twice to um, advance the foam and, sh and to cock the shutter. Um, the viewfinder, you see that it's vertical. Here's the viewfinder, you see that it's vertical. And if you look, if you take out the lens again, You'll see that this camera is able to be half frame because this is vertical um, on a normal 35 millimeter. Probably looks a little bit more horizontal, takes up the full frame, but you get two small vertical images in the space. You get one um, vertical image. Pretty cool, pretty cool trick. Pretty cool trick. I'm surprised that most people don't do it. On the bottom, going to see the film rewind release. Maiden Marks Hot Shoe. And then if you're wondering what this strap is, um, this is a Gordy's camera strap. They're a little bit overpriced, but I don't think they're overpriced now because I've had this for so long. No issues with it whatsoever. Held up perfectly. And um, I think it's like 20 or 30 bucks, but really good. Just a really good deal on these. They're not hard to make. You can figure out how to make them pretty easy, but if you don't have the time, um, you can purchase it from Gordy's. After I finally do get the camera, the first thing I do is I take it with me to a trip to Puerto Rico. And I think you should always try to travel with the camera, um, a new 35 mm camera, just to test it. So I'll put the pictures over this while I'm talking. But um, one of the coolest things about the Pen F, because of its vertical frame that's default, you just it kind of breaks you out of your habit of shooting. You shoot a little bit differently. And I had a lot of fun shooting with it. The other thing is because you're able to take twice as many pictures as you normally would, I just wasn't as worried about going through a roll of film. So. Um, I got three rolls of film there, two color, I think two black and white and one color, and then there's still some film in this one. And I was able to take about um, close to 200 pictures um, on this trip, and just and that's on three rolls. So if you're thinking about saving money on shooting film, buying a half frame camera is going to save you a lot of money in the long run. And so in the end, this is one of my top cameras. Um, traveling with it, it's small, it's compact, it's light. It's also just really fun to shoot with and all the buttons are in the right places. The ergonomics feel great and um, I just had a blast shooting with it. The Olympus just makes really good travel cameras. This and the OM-1 are perfect, I think, in terms of things you can take along with you, you don't have to worry about, you don't have to think too much about, and then just perform and handle really well. So um, the Pen F, one of my new favorite cameras. Next week, we're going to do an Ask Me Anything. I'm still collecting those questions. I haven't gotten enough yet to do a whole video, so I'm still looking for those. And then I'm going to talk about this beast, the Hasselblad. So 
kind of bought it kind of crazy expensive or relatively crazy expensive the other stuff i'm buying but it's worth it as an investment piece and i'll talk about why i think the Hasselblad is an investment piece but um it's a hell of a lot of a camera so hope you guys enjoyed that video and thanks for tuning in and i will see you again next week thank you